Hello amphibian lovers, it's Amphibian Boss here and today I'm doing a little update on my amphibian room. I'm not going to be doing anything other than what I just picked up yesterday, so it's basically just a, a city pickup. I just went up to the city and went to Big Owls, which is a pet supply store, mostly fish, but they do carry reptiles and other pets. And it's a great store. Some people don't like their uh, service, but I really like their service and I really enjoyed going there. It was a great place to go. Just even if you just want to go somewhere for you know a couple hours just look around it's a great place to go it's huge uh, this is I think it's a Canadian store and it's usually just in Ontario and Alberta or something so it's not as common for all over the world but you know, it's a cool place for uh, Canada now this here is a marbled salamander and I picked this up captive bred at Big Al's Pet Supply and I'm pretty sure one of the people who works there bred this Salamander specifically, and this is a male. As you can tell from the white markings, not the gray markings. Gray markings are on females, and the males have white markings. And the females get a little bigger, but it's not really a change in size. And he headed towards the water dish because I was holding him. And I don't know if he can get out of this water dish at all, but he's kind of just sitting around. Uh, they do like to sit in the water once in a while. But they are most mole salamanders and they like to burrow a lot and stay where it's nice and cool underneath moss and logs. And they do really like to hide in this. This is sphagnum moss and terrarium moss. I'll be getting more sphagnum because the terrarium moss is kind of junk. It's just dry and sphagnum. I sprayed it yesterday and before I sprayed it today when I got home from school it was still like, still wet. It was great. It's great stuff. So I'll start talking about these. Uh, salamanders in particular just a little bit of background knowledge and not a lot of care because I will be doing care on these guys uh, these guys don't need a big setup kind of a small uh, setup because they don't need a lot of room but give them enough room don't put them in a 2.5 put them in at least a 5 gallon per uh, salamander if you have two of them put them in a 10 gallon and you want to keep them in an area that's moist uh, moss places to hide a lot of this moss is great because they can hide in it and uh, it keeps the humidity and I got a cork bark log here for them to, for him to hide under and then this keeps the humidity up and then we also have a water dish that he likes to sit in and also keeps the humidity up quite nice they range from around the eastern United States sometimes they you know, northern Florida that's like probably the most south they go uh, and up you know around the eastern United States Illinois and other places in the United States they don't show up in Canada a lot just kinda in the United States but they, they have a far range along the east and they aren't concerned in the wild but they could be any they don't have any concern they're not threatened they're not endangered at all uh, but they could have a concern if they were poached as pets because I've seen that happen and it's not really good for the pets and it's not good for the owner either because they're not getting something that has come from a person who knows what they're doing they bought, bought them from some guy who lives in the forest and likes to collect them for fun and uh, makes a couple bucks off of them they may be cheaper but it's not worth it for you and the salamander uh, He's around two years old, I guess, maybe three years old. He's adult size, and you know he's a great pet. I've been feeding him worms, crickets, uh, or I've been feeding him crickets. I just fed him today, and they'll eat worms, small invertebrates, and you know wax worms, meal, small mealworms that I've been breeding also. So I'll vary up his diet just like my newts. So this is basically a setup, just uh, pretty easy, and I got him in uh, one of the lees critter keepers with the ventilation on the side here and uh, it's like five inches high foot and a half long and then eight inches wide so it's like it's a good setup for him and a good size wouldn't put two in here just one uh, I think he's enjoying it for now I just got him yesterday and he's been doing quite nice so he's enjoying this tank uh, he's got some places to hide water dish all that kind of stuff so, like, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll do a care video, setup video, feeding videos for this guy in the future because he's amazing. I also bought him for $67. He cost me a lot of money.
but he's worth it. So thanks, guys, for watching, and peace.